Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys a geometry problem and I brought you guys this circle here and what we are tasked with finding is the radius. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the radius of this circle here. So let's see, what are we given? Well, we're giving that this line here from here to here is equal to four and then this line here is equal to eight. And then we are also given that these two angles here, or these two lines together here, make a right angle. Okay, this symbol signifies the right angle. So how do we use this? Well, we can go ahead, first of all, what we want to kind of find, right, is this value here. I'm going to just go, go ahead and call it x. Because if we find x, that means we basically found the diameter, right? Because 8 plus x would be the diameter. And then if we're able to half the diameter, we'd get the radius, right? So I named this side length x. And now if you see here, if I make lines from two edges of the circle, like from here to here, I get a right triangle here, right? So this gives me a right triangle. And if I draw from here to here, I also get a right triangle here. And then notice how not only do I have two right triangles, but I have one bigger triangle here. Let me go ahead and draw it out. So I have this bigger triangle here. How can I use this information? Well, there is a law or a theorem per se that will help us out here. And the theorem is called... Thales theorem, so T H A L E, Thales theorem, Thales theorem. Hope I spelled theorem correctly, probably not. And basically, what it states in a circle, how this will help us, was that is that any, so we have the di diameter, whole diameter written out here, right here, right? And that means that. If a triangle is inscribed in the circle with one of the sides being the diameter, so here we have a triangle with one of the side being the diameter of the circle, right? This means that the angle opposite of the diameter, so which the, what's the angle of the opposite of the di diameter? It's this one here, right? Will always be a right angle, okay? So that means that this angle here is actually a right angle. And now for this Thales theorem, if you guys understood the definition correctly, this means that our triangle can look like anything as long as this one side is the triangle or is the diameter, as long as the diameter is this one side. So if I were to put it here on another point, this would also be a right triangle. And if I put it here and here, here, so it doesn't matter, right? Well, that's besides the point. So basically what we found was that our triangle here is a right triangle, thanks to Thales theorem. And now what is do we have to do next? Well, now we see this right triangle and from this perspective, it has a height of four, right? This triangle has a height of four. Well, since we know the height of this triangle, this line of the height of four splits this hypotenuse into eight and x, right? So how can we use that? Well, here I have another theorem for you guys, and it's called Euclid's theorem of altitude or geometric mean theorem, okay? And what does this theorem state? It states that this height value, I'm gonna name h, so that line, squared is equal to p times q P times Q. Well, what is the P times Q? Well, P times Q is the two side lengths that we have on our hypotenuse here. So our A and our X, right? So this is perfect for us since we have one variable to solve for, since we have our H squared, which is four, right? And then our P, I'll just name it H, uh, eight, excuse me. And then our X, will be our q so now we can solve for x to find this value here so we get that 4 squared 16 is equal to 8x 
divided by 8, and we get that our x is equal to 2. Okay. So that is the key information that we needed to find, because now our answer in our glory is only seconds away, because now we know the side length of this and this. So we simply add them together to find our di diameter, right? So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. So our diameter is equal to 10. What is, what is the diameter in relation to the radius? Well, the radius is simply 1 half of the diameter. So 1 half 10, which is 10 divided by 2. And we get that our radius is equal to 5, okay? So this is our final answer, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.